Fox 44's Friday Football Fever's Game of the Week is brought to you by Jeep and Truck Gear. Well, it's not often you get a matchup in high school football with the offensive firepower that Brian and Harker Heights brought into Leo Buckley tonight. Both teams fresh off putting up 70 points each last week. Harker Heights hasn't scored less than 38 points in a game this season, while the Vikings have put up 40 plus in three of their five games this season. Safe to say plenty of highlights coming to your TV for our game of the week. So let's get right into those highlights because let me tell you there was a lot of them. Brian taking on Harker Heights on the first play from scrimmage didn't take him long. Boone Turner unleashes one deep to Terrence Lewis, the North Texas commit who makes an unbelievable grab over the Knights defender. But a few plays later, Turner an errant throw over the middle. Corey McMillan makes the diving interception to give his offense the ball. And this Harker Heights offense is dangerous to give to but Caden Butler. He breaks through the line, weaves his way all the way in for the score to take a seven to zip lead. And on the very next possession, the Knights getting it done on the ground again. This time it's Zorian C2 Evans punching it in and doubling the lead. They aren't even close to being done in the second quarter. Hudson Humble hits Tyler Johnson over the middle for six as the Knights never look back for a 56 to 21. A big win for Harker Heights tonight over the Bryan Vikings, and it lived up once again our game of the week, an offensive shootout on the road for the Bryan Vikings. Our Cam Dyer was there to witness it all, and he now joins us from Colleen with more. Harker Heights put on an offensive exhibition tonight against Brian and who really could have expected anything different. The Knights entered the matchup averaging 45 points per contest and that's only going to go up after dropping 56 on the Vikings. Harker Heights showcased all of its offensive weapons tonight. Of course, they were headlined by running back C2 Evans in his four touchdowns, but TJ Johnson and Caden Butler got in on the fun with a pair each. Harker Heights offense isn't going anywhere and it's going to be a nightmare for anyone left on their schedule and opponents coming up in the playoffs in November. Coming up a little bit later, I'll chat with Harker Heights head coach Mark Humble on tonight's offensive explosion. But for now, reporting from Leo Buckley Stadium, Cam Dyer, Fox 44 Sports. Back to you, Parker.